Hi everyone, I'm at the uh, revisiting the peat out, out off site where we planted about four and a half weeks ago and everything is looking good. Uh, they've done a great job watering. The watering has been just enough. Uh, the plants that I thought might suffer the first, first with overwatering of the sedums, but they look good. The uh, Ringium uh, Big Boy looks very good. Those were the plants to, to tip you off if there's too much water, but Actually, everything is establishing well after four weeks, and the positive sign is new growth. We're seeing a lot of new growth. It's Menarda bradburiana as it, it works its way down the hill. And this is a still be delf place. And let me show you some things that we have to change. As the ground dips here, it's wet. You can see this is Aster Twilight. So Aster Twilight, we're gonna just drift more delf place into this area to take the moisture and it's going to go into the Astra Blanchifolius and Achillea terracotta, but just that slight dip. It's probably a two to three inch dip where the water runs to. That causes the, the plants to decline, you see here. But look at the still be delf lace. So just common sense. My dad would say use the brains God gave you. That would mean I would drift uh, more a still be delf lace into this area. And you can see the health of the uh, Astra Twilight back there along with Amsonia brechtii that's mixed with the Aster Twilight and these were just plugs because I ran out of uh, four and a half inch pots so I brought two inch plugs with and they're doing very well and uh, T is back there planting uh, an enemy pamina I just got those uh, rooted in and Pete has an enemy pamina drifted through the planting so there'll be two or three areas that uh, that's going to work in and I'll show you uh, Veronica Pink Evelyn. I want to point out how good the foliage is held up on Veronica Pink Evelyn. And Evelyn too has a has great foliage through all the watering and heat and humidity. The foliage on Veronica Pink Evelyn is very good. And if we want to see foliage that we had a slight problem with, and it's growing out of it, this is a geranium rose clare. You can see the new growth coming out of the center of the plant. It was the heat and humidity and the watering caused a bacterial infection. And most of the geraniums get a bacterial problem. Rose clutter gets a little more in our area because of the high humidity. So, but we're seeing nice new growth because they've cut the watering down to once a week now. And you can see geranium Max Fry just, just busting loose and looking good. Isn't that nice? Interplanted with Eryngium, I believe, big boy. So oh, that's uh, some of the patterns. So we'll, we'll check out some of the plants later. Take care. Thanks.